Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. I'm sorry for that annoying glare, it's the sun. But today we are heading on into Kroger to get five, you heard that right, five different meals for under $30. Like it's going to happen this week. Plus you are gonna have leftover ingredients so you can kind of roll those into future meals. So yeah, kind of technically more than five meals. Um, as we go along, I'll tell you guys the price of everything. The recipes will all be in the description box below. And we're just going to do this. So I'm going to show you if you've like, been like struggling like Nick, I don't know how to do groceries for couponing. I'm going to be honest with you. We're really not going to use coupons today. Um, something, it is really hard to coupon for groceries. Deals do come along. I think on like snack items and cereal and stuff like that, deals do come along. But more so on the regular food I think it's harder. So you're gonna notice there's not a lot of coupons for things. We are gonna do sale items and we're also gonna buy generics. And I know some of you may be like, oh, generics, horrible, but look at the ingredients. They're like legit the same thing, just with a different package. Many of them are literally made in the same exact warehouse. So if you don't have a coupon or a deal, go with generic and you're gonna see that uh, throughout this video. So let's just head on in and get some cheap meals. You're gonna notice there's a trend in each meal there's going to be, usually there's gonna be a meat. Um, I think in all of them actually. Yeah, there's a meat in all of them. There's a vegetable and then there's like a side of carbs. So you'll see that kind of trend throughout the video. But the first meal this week is actually a crock pot meal. This is by far what y'all requested. And I'm no gourmet cook or anything. Um, but this is even so simple, I think I could have even done this. So it's crock pot barbecue chicken. You are going to cook the chicken in the crock pot, literally, and you're gonna dump this barbecue sauce on it and you're gonna let it cook for however long you're supposed to cook in a crock pot. I looked it up, it's a six to eight hours, but just be sure to use the proper judgment there. I, I'm sure most of you, if you're watching this, you probably know how to cook chicken in a crock pot. I'm 19 years old, not had too many. I've never really had a crock pot experience, so sorry for that. Um, and then we're gonna serve it with mashed potatoes and salad. So now we're gonna take you back in store and gonna show you the products in the store and how this breaks down. Okay, so for our barbecue chicken recipe, you're just gonna grab one bottle of barbecue sauce and marinate it and dump it in the chicken. So 49 cents for that. Okay, so for this meal, you're gonna need four chicken breasts, which is basically about half of one of these packages. Yeah, roughly about half. So basically it's gonna be like $4 for this meal. So you're gonna make four chicken breasts. So for the green for tonight's dinner, the vegetable, you guys are going to get one of these dill salad kits for $1.49. Um, it says it serves three, but there's a lot of salad there, so I really think it would serve four. Considering it's just a side salad and not like a meal salad, I really think that it would serve at least four. All right, so you're gonna grab a packet of instant potatoes. You can either get the Idahoan or the Orida. They're all $1.25 at Kroger, um, just to add to your dinner. And you're gonna grab a packet of gravy for 49 cents to go along with your potatoes. So here's the fun part for cost. So cost, the Kraft barbecue sauce, 49 cents. Chicken's 4.23, the potatoes are $1.25. Gravy's 49 cents and the salad's $1.49. So your whole entire dinner for this night is $7.95 or $1.99 per person. That's a lot of food, guys, that really is. That's a quite a bit of food. Um, so I really think that's a great deal. $7.95 for a meal like that is awesome. Now, obviously, if you're trying to eat like an organic lifestyle, you'd have to make some substitutions, but that's a really great meal. So meal number two is salsa chicken with rice and broccoli. So really, really awesome. Let's dive right into this recipe. Again, another crock pot. Basically, what you're going to do, you're going to cook the chicken. You're going to put the salsa on top and let that cook for however long it takes in the crock pot. And then right before dinner, you're gonna get the instant rice going and you're gonna put the broccoli and or whatever vegetable you choose in the microwave to steam. And that's it, like that's, how simple is that? Like dinner probably didn't even take you 15 minutes to do dinner, a big dinner for your family. So we're gonna dive right in and let me show you the cost for this one and all the ingredients. Okay, so for the salsa chicken, you're just gonna need one of these, if I could actually hold the camera right. Kroger salsas that are on sale for $1.25, so grab one jar. Okay, so for this meal, you're gonna need four chicken breasts, which is basically about half of one of these packages. Yeah, roughly about half. So basically it's gonna be like $4 for this meal. So you're gonna make four chicken breasts. 
So you're also gonna make four servings of this instant rice, which is basically about half of this package. So that would be 74 cents net cost for the dinner for half the box. So for this dinner, you guys are also gonna have a thing of broccoli, um, just as your side. You can get any vegetable you want. Um, Kroger has corn and lima beans and okra and all sorts of vegetables. I just thought broccoli is staple, so whatever. All right, so next cost um, breakdown. Sauce is $1.25. The Heritage Farm chicken is $4.23. Instant rice for this meal, it costs you $0.74. Cents, but technically, since you are buying that box of rice, it is $1.49 out of your pocket today. But in the end, for other meals, it'll be free. So really just $0.74 cents for this meal. And the Kroger broccoli cuts or any other vegetable are a dollar. So price for this meal is $7.22. If you just want to include, hey, I paid $1.49 for the rice, I'm going to just count it as $1.49 for the rice, it'd be $7.96. So again, really cheap meals. Really cheap. Awesome. So now we're going to go on into meal number three, which is spaghetti and meatballs, garlic bread, and salad. Like I said, we're trying to get well balanced, like a big balance of stuff here. Um, you know, a meat, I guess spaghetti and garlic bread double as carbs, but kind of an entree, a side, and a vegetable is kind of what we're leaning towards, and that's what we're going to do. So let's dive on into this um, BD. Okay, so for spaghetti night, you're going to want to grab one of the private selection pastas that are on the mega event for 50 cents. All right, so you're going to grab one of these Hunt's pasta sauces that are only a dollar. This serves five, so basically you're good. All right, so the Armour Meatballs are buy one, get one free. Essentially, it comes to $1.75 a pack, so $1.75 added on to the pasta meal. Okay, so you're going to get one box of the um, Texas Toast. But we're only going to use four pieces out of it, and there's eight total, so the garlic bread is only $0.75 cents for this meal. So for the green for tonight's dinner, the vegetable, you guys are going to get one of these gold salad kits for $1.49. Um, it says it serves three, but there's a lot of salad there, so I really think it would serve four. So for the cost breakdown, the pasta is 50 cents. The Armor All meatballs, or it's not Armor All, it's just Armor. Armor All is a car cleaning thing, what the world. Um, it's $1.74 today, but since you have to buy two, because it's buy one, get one, it'd be $3.49 for two bags. The Hunt's pasta sauce is a dollar. The garlic bread, 75 cents today. Remember, you will have the half the box left, but just that's fine. Throw it in the freezer. Same with the meatballs. You can just throw this in the freezer for later. Then the dual salad kit's $1.49. So the cost for what you're eating today is $5.48, but the total um, with everything, with all those leftovers, is $7.98, which is still not bad. Um, really, it's not bad. And next up is eggs, bacon, hash browns, and toast. And if you all want a cheap meal, like you're wanting really low budget, th this is it. Like this is the cheap meal. And this is a great meal. I love, love, love this one. So lots to break down here. So we're just going to dive right into it. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to go ahead and get um, a pack of bacon and just cook up the servings. Um, just do half the pack. So that is like $1.75. Okay, so we're going to grab a loaf of this good to dough bread. It's 85 cents, but you're only going to need eight pieces if you do two toasts a person. So it basically comes to 32 cents for this meal, and then you'll have leftover. Okay, so you're going to want to grab one of the Kraft cheese that's on the mega event for $1.99. This is the cheapest cheese this week. I mean, you're just going to use half the pack. So really, it comes out of 99 cents just for this meal. It equals a 99 cent cost. So for this meal, you're going to go ahead and use four servings of the hash browns along with all your other breakfast items. Okay, so we're gonna grab a dozen medium eggs for 79 cents, but for this recipe, you're gonna do basically two eggs a piece, so it comes out to be 53 cents for the eggs for this dinner. All right, so for the cost breakdown here, the Kroger bacon is $1.74. We're not gonna count the whole cost in here like we have in, because we're gonna use the rest in a meal, um, the last meal. And that's what we're trying to get to using up ingredients so there's no waste and so that things aren't going to waste and we're going to use up stuff. Um, so that's $1.74. Toast, um, that comes to 32 cents for this meal, but if you just want to count the whole loaf of bread, it's 85 cents. Kraft cheese counts as 99 cents for this meal particularly, but it's $1.99 total. The hash browns count as 65 cents. You're going to use the rest later. Um, and the eggs are 32 cents for this meal, 79 cents for them total. 
So total for this meal singly is $4.29. If you want to count it for all the ingredients, it's $6.02, which is still insane right there. Sorry there's no picture for this one. I don't really like pulling pictures off of people's blogs because I don't want to take from other people without their consent. So we don't do that. So there is no picture. But we're going to be making a loaded baked potato soup. Crock pot again. Recipe down in the description. Now, they want you to use heavy cream. I didn't think it was really economical to spend $2.19 on heavy cream because we only need a cup. So I actually found a recipe you can do with milk and butter because I'm sure we all have those staples in our household. So I'll actually have a link to that substitute along with this recipe in the description box below. It's probably the most complicated meal of the week. So let's go ahead and look at that. So we are going to get one of the Kroger chicken broth for $1.29. Okay, so you're going to want to grab one of the Kraft cheese that's on the mega event for $1.99. This is the cheapest cheese this week. Um, you're just going to use half the pack. So really it comes out of 99 cents just for this meal. It equals a 99 cent cost. And then we need one of the 99 cent sour creams. So you're going to need a pack of these carrots and you need to shred them. So keep that in mind. You're also going to need a thing of chopped onions. That's a dollar. For this meal, remember the hash browns from yesterday, you're going to put it in today's soup. So all the rest of the hash browns you have, dump them in the soup. Throwing leftovers in soups and casseroles and stuff is always a really great way to use up leftovers and we're all about using what we buy here and also um, avoiding waste. So you always could freeze stuff as well if you're not going to use it. Keep that in mind. Okay, so for this recipe, you're going to go ahead and get um, a pack of bacon and just cook up the servings. Um, just do half the pack. So that is like $1.75. Alright, so for this meal, the Kroger baking comes out again to $1.74 half. The hash browns is 65 cents for the half of those. The chicken broth is 129. We're gonna use the rest of the Kraft cheese for 99 cents as a topping. The sour cream is 99 cents. Those Kroger carrots are 24 cents and the chopped onions are 24 cents. So total cost for this big crock pot of soup is 614. Total with leftovers is 814, which I don't think is bad at all. So all in all, let's talk about how much all this comes to. Alrighty, so cost per meal, it all came down to $31.08. I'm really bummed. I was hoping it just come to $30, but $31.08 is pretty, really, really great, to be honest. I mean, it's really good for all that food and all those meals right there. Um, with the leftovers, it was $38.05, so a little bit more, but think about it. You have pretty much the ingredients to throw together another pasta meal. I mean, seriously, you really do. Um, you have you know, another rice meal right there. And, you know, you really have ingredients to start meals and you won't have to buy them next time you want to make them. So that's really something important to consider. So that's all for this week's um, cheat meals. Let me know if you even enjoy this. And I'd love to start doing themes, um, like maybe themed dinners or something. I don't know. But um, for next week, we're going to do a quick little poll. So this is where I need y'all's help. We have four options, potential routes we can go for next week. First one is keto, which I know I got so many keto people out there who are like, oh, keto, keto, keto. I get it all the time. So I thought if enough people, if the majority, I'm giving you all the option until next Wednesday to cast your vote. If the majority said we want a keto week, maybe we do a keto week. Option number two would be vegan or vegetarian. It might not be 100% vegan, but vegetarian meatless meals for the week. Um, number three would be all freezer meals. So freezer cooking, you bulk cook, and then you put meals in the freezer. So that way you don't have to cook every night. You can just put it in the oven and then like, woo, you don't have to cook, which would be so, I like doing stuff like that. Um, and the other option would be kind of like what we did this week, just crock pot meals and casserole style stuff. So let me know that in the comments. I know what to plan for for next week. I'll give you guys till next Wednesday to vote. And I hope y'all enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments. Even if you don't care which route we go next week, let me know um, if you enjoyed this or not, if this is even helpful to you. So yeah, that's all that I have for now. And thank you so much for watching.